Neyland Stadium, they are standing. We are set to get this 1994 version of Alabama and Tennessee underway. Alabama's won the toss. They have elected to receive. Gibson is back deep as Bexford. The senior out of Chattanooga gets a foot into it. And we're off and going. Marcel West breaks it at the 25. And Bexford will finally knock him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. It's to Williams. Nice open field tackle, but he's close to the first down at the 44-yard line. Jason Parker, the young man we were just talking about, came up to make the stick on him. Jay Barker's injury, not a separation, not a torn rotary cuff, a severe sprain with muscle spasms. The biggest thing that the trainers are concerned about, not his throwing, but whether or not he gets hit or land on that shoulder. That's the thing that we'll watch. It's a great point, and that's probably one of the reasons I brought up the thing about him running on that first down. Throws that one complete to Curtis Brown. Tennessee shows blitz and they come with it. And Williams gets to the outside. Inside the 40, pushed out of bounds near the 35 by Ronald Davis. Williams again, Lynch in front with the block. He gets a good one and he breaks it open inside the 20 and is going to be caught inside the 15 by Raymond Austin. Look at this, 18 times they've scored inside the 20. 10 touchdowns, 8 field goals. Goes to the left side. He'll be inside the five-yard line. The chicken cordon bleu sandwich at Arby's were different. Is this situation on third down? Barker puts it on his hip for the end zone. Nobody is there. So that means that Proctor will attempt this field goal from a severe angle from 21 yards away. And he knocks it home. That the Crimson Tide is going to give the freshman a lot of different looks and deception tonight. Stewart to the left side, turns it up, he'll have the first down as he crosses to 35. And Willie Gaston has to come up from the secondary to make the hit. He's number 66. Manning brings the pass complete. Kendrick Jones across midfield, and now here comes a late flag. You remember, injured that arm so badly against Georgia. Well, he's in the game. Couldn't start tonight, but that means a lot. Pressure from behind. Damian Jeffries will have the sack on Manning. And they are lining up for a 52-yard field goal attempt by John Bexford. His longest in warm-up today was 49 yards, Mike. Good snap. He's got the distance, but not the accuracy. Just wide right. under pressure, going to be sandwiched back to the 32, and Mike Tirico, first time to visit with you tonight. How are you? Okay, Mike. We like your orchestra. <laughs> Pass going to be intercepted by Tommy Johnson. A lot of looks like Alabama gave Miami and Gino Toretta in the Sugar Bowl a couple of years ago. And as long as they do not establish the run, they're going to get a bunch of looks. Wide open Chad Key, and he will catch it and go out of bounds at the 35. Deron Jenkins covering, but the, he was a couple of steps back. Uh, actually, about 11 for the Crimson Tide. Barker, he is going to be sacked in the second time, and he really got sandwiched hard by White and Burton. Three to nothing, Alabama. He takes it out of her across the 25 to the 28, and Cedric Samuel in the safety spot will make the tackle. Yes, Mike, as we visited with him yesterday in the hall, Bubba said, no, that, that's up to Jeff now. He gets to do the call. Hayden, big opening breaks it at the 45, reverses his field. And he will be out of bounds at the 22 and a half yard line. It is the third down, and they need the 13-yard line. Straight ahead with a running play, and they will have the first down. Hayden off the left side, and it's some fine blocking by Lehman, Mays, and Miller. Second and goal. Left side, still pumping. Loses the football, and I believe, let's see, Alabama has recovered at the four. 
took Tennessee with the turnover, their second of the night, their 18th of the year, and the tackle at the one-yard line didn't get him in the end zone, but they got him at the one-foot line. Play action by Manning. Manning, he's going to go on top. Double coverage in the ball, tipped and intercepted. Tommy Johnson will come away with it, and he's trying to return it. Rico, let's check back with you. That's exactly what Alabama wanted. They wanted to force the freshman to make mistakes. This is Williams, and you can see he crosses the orange stripe. He'll have the first down. Barker, nobody stayed at home, and he's going to run it. And didn't get to slide down quite as quickly that time as he will be out at the 37 by Ray Austin. Draw play. the 45-yard line for the first down for the Crimson Tide. Key number 19, very lanky receiver, former quarterback, has the good hand, possession-type receiver. Two blockers looking for, nope, gets it to Patrick Malone. And Patrick's going to be short of the first down. Brandon Stewart has excellent ability to run the football. And here he is right here with just that, Mike. to the 44, first and 10 volunteers. Pass almost intercepted, and Tommy Johnson was just playing possum with him. Laid off the ball, and that would have been a touchdown. Straight ahead on the running play. Has five, has 10, cut it off at 15 yards. James Littleman Stewart. And Jeff Smith, number 74, with a good clear out block. Well, Hayden's in the ball game now as they get a fresh tail back in. Pass is zipped over the middle, complete to Joey Kent. And that's another Tennessee first down. It's been a manhole cover like Mike Allen the reporting on, on this field. Stewart is going to fall down. Lost his balance, and he's going to wind up losing almost 10 yards in the play. And Jeffries was the closest man to him. The ball is delivered complete at the 25 to Kent. And first and goal, Tennessee at the 7. And the running play will lose yardage to the 8. Andre Royal is the first man to come through and make the hit. At the 16-yard line. And we're tied. Tennessee has one timeout left, right? Throws it complete, Chad Key. Boy, he got belted by Ray Austin after he made the reception. Oh, yeah. for the he didn't any smaller, did he? No, he didn't. Here comes the pitch reverse. Marcel West. And the speed of the Tennessee defense. Ronald Davis, one of those getting outside to make the hit. Four. Third and short. The running play, I don't know. Uh -uh. Don't think he got it, Ray Austin came up to make the stick on him. Brandon Stewart goes down on one knee. Brandon Stewart down to low. At the end of the second quarter. It's halftime, and we're tied at three apiece, Alabama and Tennessee. And it's going to be Peyton Manning who will begin the activities in the third quarter. Phillips again, the fullback, and I don't know if he got the first down or not. I don't believe so from where they have spotted it. A little bigger than some realize at 6'4". Speaking of bigger than you realize, Sherman Williams spins off two tacklers and will have the Alabama first down at the 41. It is third down. Alabama one of seven on third down conversion. Steger, left side, and with the second effort, he is going to have the first down as he spins his way inside the 30. They take the counterplay. Barker got him wide open at the 15-yard line. At the 10, Marcel West will break out of the tackle, and he'll score.
Watts as Watts will kick it off for Alabama. And this is going to come up to Billy Williams at the five. Williams breaks it open. All the way out to the 45-yard line. Early third quarter. And he dumps it off in the flat. This is Aaron Hayden. Dumps it off, Hayden, he will have the first down. He does not get into the end zone, but that'll move the sticks. Good. Touchdown, Tennessee. I think Smokey got him fired up. You see him, you remember oh, hey. seeing him come out at halftime. He was galloping. Uh, you were reaching for your pocket. You wanted to put a bet on him. And they're going to bring it out after the hesitation. And what a mistake. Riddle caught it two yards deep, hesitated, and now the crowd is really taking over. Williams going to be knocked down for a loss. I think he's howling right now because of this noise. Third down. Williams on the delay. And he is going to have the first. Nope, not going to have it. They're going to say knee is down, shy of the 15-yard line. It came with the blitz, and they will get it. 91, Damian Jeffrey. Second time that they have gotten to a Tennessee quarterback tonight. Running play. Williams hit in the backfield. He's going to lose a couple. Scott Galen again. Summers out already. Barker. Bramble gets it away and the ball is dropped. Oh my goodness, he had Patrick Malone. And as he weaved his way through traffic, the pass was dropped. Stand by. We were uh, about to go to Mr. Tirico and get another update. Had the pressure on, but uh, whoa, what a fine job by Deal again. This is Sylvan from the 40. Up the far side, gets by the corner man, and he'll take it down to the 40. Mike Perico, let's check in with you one more time. And the Wax had an edge over the pack this year. 8-2, Mike. Eight, eight victories and two losses. Stewart spins off one tackler, but that's going to be the end of the way. In fact, he's going to lose a yard in the play. Ozell Powell was the first guy to get to him, then Michael Rogers as well. And then he out to his left. Throws it to the East. Cedric Samuel is the man who got a hand on. And now again, the punt out should punt Alabama in the hole again, hopefully hoping for a turnover. Extremely high kick. And Hutton is going to have this one hit at the 10-yard line, and he'll down it at the 8. Sherman Williams turns the corner, steps out of bounds, and they're going to say he got the first down, a pickup of 12, and stopped the clock with 14. And he reverses out this time. They stay at home, and the ball is delivered complete to Lynch. Oh, my goodness, what a play by Jay Barker. It's been back in 1985, the last time Tennessee defeated the Crimson Tide. Last year was a tie. Here's a drop play to Williams. Bounces off one tackler, gets to the outside, has 5, 10, 15, and counted off. They're going to say a gain of 17 on the play. Another flag, too. I think they hit him out of, out of bounds. It'll be a penalty on Tennessee. Williams outside in the right. Cuts it back inside, and he is close to another first down. In fact, he is going to have it. Corey Gaines is there to make the tackle. Leland Taylor. So Proctor attempting this field goal of 44 yards. Lost his footing. Well short. Running play and Hayden gets outside on the right. He will have the Tennessee first down, Samuel holding on to him for dear life. Uh, that's awfully good one-two punch. Play action in the slipstream to Billy Williams. Gets a block. 
And what a quick return by Ralph Staten. Oh, my goodness, did he recover well. Right, we'll take a look at the play here, Jerry. Hayden, 5, 10. Oh, he's still dancing. 15 and 20, and he'll take it all the way down to the 21-yard line. Because that put him well over 100 yards. They'll run him again. Gets outside on the left. Inside the 10. It is a first and goal, Tennessee. You see the blitz coming. They get outside on the left. Couldn't spin by the tackle. And let's go back to Mike Adamley and uh, continue that conversation. Mike, uh, Mike, he's already worked on Daytona, I can tell you that. Third down. They reverse it out. Throws it in the flat. And Moe Phillips is going to be hit by Willie Gaston on a magnificent one-on-one -on -one effort. So Bexford with the field goal attempt of 22. Good pass, and he knocks it home. So let's take a break. The Volunteers go on top 13 to 10. Barker reverses out. Throws it complete, and he'll step out of bounds at the 29. Curtis Brown. Sherman Williams, can he get outside? Is working his way, cuts it back inside. Boy, Mike, you are exactly right as he gets the first down. He hides behind those big offensive linemen. Three of 11 third down conversions tonight for the tie. Whoop, they left him open. Then he throws the pass complete. That's Curtis Brown with the first down, and now here comes a late flag in. We have an incidental five-yard face mask defense. He added on to the end of the run. It's Williams in the middle, hurdles the tackler, and he'll have the Crimson Tide first down. Option play to the open side. It's Lynch. Turns the corner. Inside the 10, bumped out of bounds. It is first and goal, Crimson Tide. Williams turns the corner, touchdown out of bounds. Brandon Stewart watches anxiously from the sideline, hoping that his teammate can get five here. Lobs it, has it complete. That's Joey Kent across midfield. It is first and ten, Tennessee. taken down hard. That is Jeffries and three sacks against Tennessee tonight and immediately the volunteers call a timeout with 2.09 remaining. Pass complete at the 31 yard line. That's enough for the volunteer first down. Joey Kent again working on Samuel. Fifth catch for 92 yards. Drop play. Here comes Hayden. Trying to get to the sideline, and he does out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Blitz handoff goes to Stewart, and somebody caught him by the ankle. I think it was Matt Parker. If he doesn't grab him, I think that Stewart might have been in the end zone. Right guard was moving on for Tennessee. Manning gets thrown down, and the Tennessee coaching staff is out on the field saying, hey, wait a minute, the whistles were blowing. The guard had come out of his stance. We have a dead ball, illegal movement, offensive line. Five yards. Set, drills it, hit. Oh, my goodness, and went right by his hands, and I think it was Michael Rogers who got just enough of a deflection. It's come down to this, fourth down. Movement by Alabama, so it's a free play. Pass is intercepted at the two-yard line, but I believe, I believe they will gain a reprieve with the offside. Here comes the pressure, pass is thrown, incomplete. Sylvan is the man he wanted at the four-yard line, and it was Gaston on the cover. That'll do it as the 
Crimson Tide players coming on the field. And Gene Stallings goes across to shake hands. His ball club still undefeated. Tennessee goes to three and four. Mike, it was a game that we talked about. When you get in a rivalry game like this, sometimes you play it real close to the best, and that was the way both teams played it tonight. Alabama gets the edge. 